This is Josiah Plays The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Alright, I just wanted to look around in this little place where we fought the Arrakis to see if there's any more loot or plants. Collecting way more plants than I actually need. I don't care. You know, maybe there's like a little hidden treasure somewhere. I don't know. It's not like I remember these things. It's because I've played through the game. Oh, see? There's a cave. Immediately finds a cave. Immediately runs away and doesn't go into the cave. Look, I'll be back to you, cave. Man, there's... Oh, see? I found a sword of Kaer Morin right here. There is just random fucking loot laying around. Kaer Morin is the Witcher base. Or at least the ones of these Witchers. The Witchers of the Wolf School. That Geralt's a part of. What is this sword? The silver sword. It's not as good as mine. 1% instant kill chance is nice. We're 32 Orans though, so, you know, hey. There's that. You're of this hideout. Man, I'm glad I stopped to explore. If you had any knowledge of Yorvis hideout near Flotsam, the Scoyotel leader used it as a command post from which to coordinate his unit's operations. The way there was dangerous as it was defended by more than elven swords and arrows. Monsters inhabiting the surrounding forest were its natural guardians. Having a guide increased one's chances of reaching it alive. Yet finding it did not necessarily mean that one would return safely. Upon entering the lion's den, one could only hope for its owner's favor, and not many Dwan could count on that. I wonder if anybody's going to be in here. Or if I can just loot their shit. It looks like looting their shit is uh, on the agenda. Hundred and fifty orans, thank you. <laughs> Yorvith, go meet me at the place while you're there waiting for me. I'm gonna be in your cave looting your shit. This is where that one scene took place, where Yorvith and Letho talked. And he had the heads of the kings. I wonder if the heads of the kings are still in here. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's anything in this particular chamber of interest to me. Well, hey, I'll take the free 150 orans, though. That's lovely. In Geralt's world, robbing a person blind is a standard means of ingratiating yourself to them. Yeah, man. I keep thinking on, I'm thinking hard on how much I want to loot in the, in the Witcher 3. And what I want to loot. Like if I wanted to, if I wanted to make a rule to say I'm not going to loot this or that, I'm not going to steal from people, I would have to define things, you know, to determine in what instances it would apply and not apply. And it seems like it, it becomes tricky to, uh, to sort out. Like, things I find outside. Okay, fine, if I'm not gonna steal stuff from people's houses, what about stuff I find outside that clearly belongs to someone? You know, if it's in a crate, or a sack, or a barrel, even if it- or a chest, even if it's not, like, in a house, even if it's- even if it's not, like, right in town, if it's sort of out of town a little bit, it still belongs to somebody. Do it- can I take it or not take it? You know, can I say, well, this is obviously abandoned, and take it, or- like, that's the thing, if I made a rule like that, it would be very hard to figure out exactly what the rule was. Where the fuck am I going? How do I get out of here? <laughs> how do I, how do I, uh, obviously I don't get up on here. Sultan, lead me out of here. 
I'm lost. No, but that is how I get down. That's the only... It's the only climbable thing. In fairness, one way is if there are guards around and they yell at you for opening it. Yeah, but they, the only people that do that are the soldiers. If you try to take the stuff from soldiers, they get mad. Like, I mean, I could set a simple rule. Okay, I won't take anything from anybody's house. If they're in a, if it's in a house... What the fuck? Wait. Figured it out. Figured it out. I'm, I'm an idiot. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to figure out, but especially since I came from this way. I could say I won't take anything from anybody's house, but what if there's nobody in the house? What if it's a house that's just out? Is it an abandoned house? I don't know. Because if I don't do that, see, I really want to feel like I'm playing through The Witcher 3 in a very, uh immersive sort of role-play way. So I have to come up with a good justification that I can use in my mind for why I'm taking these people's stuff. I thought Zoltan was gonna like follow me or whatever. Alright, we're gonna go turn in the thing stuff and have the ritual with Melitale's heart. Saving the goddamn world. I'll probably just say fuck it and not even worry about it, but. These are the things I, I agonize over with certain games. Not many types of games, but... I don't know... Hey, now. Good thing I found some Cortinarius, because honestly, I only have 65 of them. Which is more than I'll probably use in the entire game. Alright, Anezka's place is right over here. I'll be damned. Oh. Mandrake root. I only have 57 mandrake root, so you never can never have too many. It's a pretty good one. Admittedly, none of the guards who catch me stealing seem to agree with me, but what can you do? Time to loot all of Inezka's herbs again, too. And when I was thinking about it, okay, I won't go to anybody's houses, I won't steal anybody's shit. Then I'm like, oh, well, well you know, you couldn't take the uh, herbs from out in front of the herbalist place either, because those are obviously, you know, her property. She's growing those as part of her profession if you just looted those, then... But then what about the ones that are growing out in the middle of the farmer's field? Are those okay? Like, what, what could you take? And it gets really tricky, coming up with appropriate looting ethics for a role-playing game. It gets tricky. No. I want that. I want it. 
I want it. Thank you. Yeah, and as God was just looking for you. By looking for you, I mean taking all your plants. Alright, let's do this quest. Melita lays heart. Let's talk about the talisman. You wish to sell it? No. I want to know everything there is to know about this ritual. Ask away. What do you need to perform the ritual? Essence of death, a troll's tongue, the eyes of an Arrakis, and an Endrigus fetus. I have those things. Can you conduct the ritual? I see you have all the ingredients. If you make up your mind, come to the statue of Veopatis at midnight. I've made up my mind. Alright, I'll be there. Meet an Ezka by the shrine. Geralt searched the surroundings of Flotsam far and wide and found all the ingredients, though getting a troll's tongue was not easy. It was actually pretty easy. I just bought a troll's head, called it a day. He gave the components to Inezka. The girl agreed to meet the Witcher at the altar of Veopatis in the middle of the forest. She said she'd be there every night, for she'd be able to perform the ritual releasing the talisman's power only there in the moonlight. Nezka. All right. Um. So I have to go. She said at midnight. So. Night time is the right time. And she's heading there right now. All right, convenient. I'll just follow her. She knows the way. Unless it confers a morality, reputational penalty, and or marks taken loot as stolen, I take everything. Yeah, that's generally my... my policy as well. I was just thinking I might do it differently in The Witcher 3. Because in The Witcher 3, such a huge deal is made of how poor everyone is, and how they're starving, and how they don't have anything. And how, like, like, the in immense, at least in Velen, that's the only part of the game I've been to. I mean, and the White Orchard in the beginning. Like, everything that people say, and all the, like, the notices up on the boards and stuff are all about how, like, totally fucked they are. <laughs> like, with famine and shit, you know? It's It feels really, like, wrong to be just going into all their houses and just taking all their stuff at the same time that I'm there to allegedly help them. Yorvith is like, seriously, where is he? <laughs> Fucking Yorvith. <laughs> Welcome to knowing Geralt, son. Better just go ahead and pull this out, just in case some shit goes down. She's not exactly hurrying to this place. Oh, here we are. The giant statue of Veopatis's head. Veopatis, related to the hippopotamus. No, that was dumb. I don't remember at all what happens here. Am I gonna get in a fight? I don't remember. Here at last. 
I don't know many brave enough to venture into this forest, especially at night. I do not fear the squirrels, and I have my methods for the monsters. Interesting. This place is full of mysteries that even witches can't imagine. You're the main mystery right now. Why do you need me? I don't know the ritual. You'll find out once I begin performing it. You'll I find you out. Can. Nice. Let's begin. Prepare, Witcher. And now, watch this. I have a bad feeling about this. Protect Inezka from the wraiths. I need time to Let's do some quick reading, you know, at the moment, in this dramatic moment. Geralt arrived at the meeting place and Inezka began the rite. However, the Witcher would not watch the ceremony in peace. He had to defend the girl from wraiths drawn to a source of magic like moths to a flame. They were the ghosts of the dead from the times when humans only started to colonize the Pontar Valley and faith in Veopatis was strong. Okay. Are they here? Come on! Yup! In that case... Spectre Oil. Oh my god. Do not let those things hit you in the back. They will fucking wreck you. They will fucking wreck you. I was feeling like I was all tough with my new armor and everything. And my mutagens and my all my extra health and stuff. I'm like, whatever, I can let them hit me some. Shh, whatevs. I was wrong. I was brutally, brutally wrong. I might throw some Samum around. I don't know if Samum will even work against them. Probably not. In fact, fuck it. My one regret in my first playthrough of The Witcher 3, The Witcher 3? I mean The Witcher 2, this game right here, is that I never dra I never used enough alchemy. Like, I would always just hoard it and save it up, and at the end of the game I had like hundreds and hundreds of herbs and tons of orins and like nothing to do. So this time, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna use this shit. I'm gonna use this shit like I, like I give a fuck. It's really nice of Inezka to put her life on the line for free, then again, maybe that the ritual she's doing has nothing to do with restoring the amulet and she just wants to troll you. <laughs> yeah. This is the, the ritual where she brings people out here and sacrifices them to the wraiths in order to, you know, maintain her eternal youth or whatever. Here at last. I don't. I do not. I think I can repost wraiths no, too. I... Are you? Let's begin. Prepare. You must fight them. I need time to finish the ritual. No, don't put the sword away. Ah. Uh. Are you guys coming? Oh shit. Oh my god. Plus after you die she gets the amulet for free. Ah, <laughs> oh, seriously? Another one appeared behind me that I wasn't expecting. Here. Enter. Why? Are you? Let's begin. You must fight them. I need time to finish the ritual. I know you do. I know you do. All right. This time we're not fucking around.
damn you. I don't think that did shit to them. Alright, repost works. Repost works really well, actually. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. God, there's a lot of wraiths coming. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god! <laughs> I'm dying! I hit that one that only has a little bit of health left. Oh fuck, oh fuck. No! Oh, they almost got me. All right, did they go away then? Whoo, that wasn't easy. Okay, cool. Uh, then victory and stuff. Where the fuck are all the dead wraith parts? Dead wraith parts, please. Power mutagen. Yeah. Actually, Repost was fucking amazing there. Oh, now these fuckers want to come into play? Oh, I just one-shotted that fucker with a Repost. How come I'm not getting the Repost thing popping up? There it is. Oh, I love her post. It's amazing. Alright, where the hell did Inezka go now? Like, what are you even doing? 
Did you manage? Melitele's heart has regained its former power. I can feel it. I never thought you could conduct rituals of that sort. <laughs> did you take me for a village witch who puts bread and cobwebs on wounds? Yes. What you did is closer to sorcery. Sorceresses, with all their learned books and schools of magic. What do they know? Magic witcher is the heart beating fast, or the smell of wet, rotting wood. It upsets the underbelly and makes you weep and cry. It's the scythe that misses a field mouse nest. It's people coupling under the new moon till it hurts. It's blood spilled and sweet milk flowing. That is magic. I've experienced all that and seen everything. I can control it. I wouldn't trade places with any sorceress. So what you're saying is you're a Wiccan. I don't know if I understand you, but I sure admire you. Take this talisman as a memento of our meeting. But you really wanted it. You helped me lift the curse from it, and ask nothing in return. Generosity is a rare virtue. Melitele's heart can once again bring luck. I think you will get more out of it than I will. Thank you. Come to me if you need anything. Better the devil you know. Alright, good times. Thanks, Inezka. Saito says, see, they don't even attack her when you leave the area. I call shenanigans. You can just imagine her standing over your corpse and fist bumping one of the wraiths. Now she's making a break for it and leaving you with the Andregas. And she freaks you out, huh? So, Vitality Regeneration plus one, what does that mean? Just having it in my possession gives me that? Without me having to equip it to anything, because I guess I can't equip it to anything. Does that- do I get that in combat? Without a swallow potion? Because that's badass, if so. I do. It's- look, it's two right now. One of those two is from the swallow potion that I still have on me. The other one must be from... So it's like having a Swallow Potion on all the time. And if you drink a Swallow Potion, you get double the regeneration. That's great. That quest was seriously worth doing. Okay. Let's see what we're reading here. Let's see what it says. Thanks to Inezka's abilities and Geralt's persistence, the ritual was not interrupted and calmly came to an end. The talisman's power was awakened, and the witch gave the witcher the powerful artifact called Melitele's Heart. Future events would show how helpful was the amulet's protective aura. Nothing new about a Nezka, I guess. Alright. Good times. All it cost was New Boy's life. Well, I wasn't a fan of New Boy or his buddies anyway. Particularly his buddies. I mean, he probably hadn't done much horrible shit yet, but he joined up with some horrible shit doing people, so... Fuck him. Fuck him! Birds of a feather flock together, as a lot of ignorant-ass people have said. <laughs> an ignorant, an ignorant, ignorant excuse for fucking hateful shit. Alright, let's see. Samum. I should have used snares on those wraiths. Those probably would not have worked. What does this trophy do? Ooh. Ooh. That's not a bad trophy. Gives me three to four extra damage. I lose 25 vitality and three armor, but I get extra damage and an extra... It is my understanding Correct me if I'm wrong. In fact, I really want to know the answer to this. But I thought I read this somewhere. It is my understanding that the statement damage bonus on signs as used in the, in the character skills page and, and so forth actually affects all sign intensity. Not just damage. It's my understanding. So it helps you, it helps you with all, all your signs.
You can't hate on the Crimford Reavers. Their Gwent cards are awesome. Yeah. Gwent is cool. Gwent is a cool game. It's certainly more fun than dice poker. I think I'm going to use this trophy. I think I am. 20 to 26. So does that mean I'll now be doing... Like, instead of 20 to 26, I'll do 23 to 30, basically, because of this trophy. I have a lot of resistance to bleeding. Alright, well, that's the last side quest. Mystic River you can't do anything with in this chapter anymore. Go meet Letho in the Elven Ruins is the official thing for me to do. But before I do that, I'm going to stop by the various vendors. I'm going to sell everything I can sell. I'm going to see how much money I have. And I'm going to see if there's some recipes I want to buy before I, before I move on. In fact, the Nezka is one of the merchants I want to talk to. Uh, blade oil is just oil. I don't really care. That only costs 56, but... I mean, oil. I've got piles of oil. Don't I? I have 32 oil already, and I find it all over the place. I have all these formulas. Man, I bought, like, all of her formulas already, pretty much. Wolf... Wolf is a nice potion, but eh. I don't think I'm going to buy anything else from her. I could sell her some stuff, though. I'm gonna hold on to the Karen trophy for now. Extra books? No. Bombs, traps, potions, enhancements, armor. This is that sword that Ben gave me that he made a big deal about how it was like a family heirloom and shit. I'm about to sell it to Ineska for 13 Orans. Alright, after selling everything, I've got 1761. You would get Wolf. I don't want wolf. What I want is What are you doing? Relax. We're going back to town. Ah oh, yeah, I'm way less of a hoarder. I only keep things that I might theoretically want to use. Now, a lot of times I do I do hoard way more stuff than I'll ever actually use. 
but where is the guy? Is this the house of the guy? Trollhead guy? No, this is not Trollhead guy's house. Yes, it is. Sendler. Get up. We have we have business to conduct. All right, now he's got some stuff. Amethyst armor enhancement. Amethyst dust. Diamond armor reinforcements. Wow, those are nice. Diamond dust. Heavy leather jacket. No, I don't care about any of his jackets and stuff. They're not any they're not better than what I've got. Hardened leather, hardened leather jacket. Your nascent Baldur's Gate 2 playthrough. So you're just trying to keep everything, basically. I try to convert as much stuff to cash as I can. Unless I think I might theoretically want it later. This, these diamond armor reinforcements are nice. I think I'll get that diagram. And I think I'll get the diagram for diamond dust as well. And the one for amethyst dust, why not? can't help yourself. Thankfully, the owner seems really understanding, like Kagane was with his shop in the first game. So, you can drop all your stuff off there and it just stays forever? I always worry about that in games. Like, can you drop off your stuff or put it in a container and have it still be there, you know, after all kinds of stuff has happened and you've loaded in and out and left the area and, you know, time has passed. I, I never trust it unless... I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll look it up. I'll look it up online and see... You know, if I can find out from other people that have verified that, yes, you can store your shit in this location and it will stay there forever. Like, I'm playing through Deus Ex Human Revolution again right now. And I know that you can drop off your crap. I drop off my extra crap in Adam's apartment and just, I know it'll still be there for me. No matter what, you know. Because inventory is tight in that game. You cannot carry hardly anything. All right, we're done here. Thanks, Sendler. Now let's go talk to Cedric. See what he might have that we... I think Cedric lives in here. Nope, I'm wrong. The fuck is Cedric? Is he up there on his platform? I don't think that so. I think that's Saharam right there. But I could be wrong. He should be marked on my map, right? Sendler, Nezka. Well, oh, fuck it. Let's just wait till daytime. over here he 
He is over here. What are you doing over here, you wily fucker? Son. Mother, I told you to be the alone. The talking town is someone. Wait, what? Better make it bloody fast or I do the job for him. Ah, he's over here. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sido. It's the Elven leader, but I didn't know I could talk to him about a new thing. Any idea what Yorvik intends towards Lorita or the local humans? Only he knows that. But I suspect he's at a loss, unsure what to do. He's in the area, mounts the occasional ambush, then lies low for a few days. But he's yet to put together a larger attack. I think he's waiting for the Commandant to lower his guard. It would appear so. But Yorveth is famous for his viciousness. He's fought regular troops, attacked much larger settlements. Delaying the fight this long is unlike him, unless there's something I don't know about. Hmm, okay, let's trade. Could have just bought a rack of size from him, but look how expensive they are. I mean, if you just buy them from him, 351 orans, that's no joke. Alright, I don't care about any of these trap diagrams. Karen, so I could theoretically get this because I have Karen's skin and nothing else to really use it for. Gives you plus one armor. 5% vigor regen. 301 orange though. Maybe I should just sell the Karen skin and call it a day. Oh, I like the idea of this rage trap. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, I have all these other formulas he's got. How much is the Karen skin worth? Worth 31. I'll hold on to it for now. Oh, he has to make traps for me. I can't make my own traps, right? Hey, come back. We're not done. Out of the way, geese. Wires one and one and two of those and 20. Um, I clearly just made three of these. Why the fuck is there only one in my... Oh my god, because I didn't. I made a fury trap and then he made two superb leather trousers instead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why superb leather trousers? That's alright, I have tons of this shit, so I didn't really waste any serious materials. Cost 25 orns each though. No, make a rage trap. Rage trap. Rage trap. So 
Slatter says, one thing that drives me nuts about these sorts of elves and fantasy is how rarely they seem to understand how mortality of humans may play into a lot of their behavior. I mean, when you get to live centuries longer than humans, I imagine you can afford to be more laid back. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. You would think that would be more of a plot point and, and brought up more often than it really is. Alright, now I have three of them. Okay. Good. For those special situations. Now I've spent a lot of my money. But we'll take one more stop at uh, oh, Fioravanti and... Get home early today. Eat something. Get some can't remember the name of the... Blacksmith. Does he lose them often? Just screaming in data and the old man moaning at night. <laughs> and how do you find country? Was it worth it? Marrying in a dome? Love is where you find it. You're young and know. You'll return to Flotsam well, in tears well, not well. a year from now. <laughs> Quite an optimist here. <laughs> Elemental stone. Essence of water. That's a useful one to know, because you need essence of water to make either of the runes. Well, essence of water is really cheap, though. Diamond dust's not even that expensive. Let's see. God wall. I think I looked at all these a little bit ago and decided against them. So how's it going, dear? Everything all right at the household? <laughs> so how can we... Oh yeah, these ores. No, I think... I think we're good for now. I'm gonna save my 586 orans. Go meet Letho in the Elven Ruins. So I bought a few more recipes, but I think I've bought all the recipes I care to at this time. So, it looks like I've never played dice poker with Fioravanti, because it was not grayed out. So of course we have to. Completionist. Gotta play with everybody you can play with. Also, I need to get some of that money back. Well, that is a shitty roll. All he's got is a pair, though. I guess I could go for the straight. Go for the straight. I'm about to lose 25 orans. 
Yep. <laughs> a draw? How the fuck is it a draw? I didn't have anything. Well, whatever, I'll take it, because it means I didn't lose. I got two pair, right out the gate, that's not bad. I got a full house. Eat it, sucker. Yeah! Alright, good. I feel good about this. I'm ready to go meet Letho now. I'm done with all the other faffing about... Oh, wait. Not quite done. I gotta sell those extra trousers that I just made. Yeah. Okay. I'm level 12 already. 220 vitality. Twenty-one armor. Feeling good. Feeling good. I'm ready to go meet Letho in the Elven ruins. A fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing bread from the mouth. Exciting times. Watch it. I will say that I think... Well, no. I'm not gonna say that yet. That's spoilery. Like, I don't know how many people will ever watch this playthrough that haven't ever watched or played The Witcher 2 before. But... Probably somebody will. And I don't want to say anything too spoilery. For the sake of that hypothetical person. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Come on. Get it, get it. Anyone else? Where'd that first in Dragon die? Alright, so we're gonna head to the Elven Ruins again in order to meet meet Letho, the Kingslayer. Have our first official meeting and see what happens. But that is going to be in our next episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Josiah Plays The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition.